What news do you bring? The needle will never sting again. Well done, Neivor. Who was hiding behind the name? My love, there has been an attack at the markets. The Dockmaster, Grigory, is dead. The needle. Sold off the ware as he ceased to collect silver for the vault. He had no such authority. Why would anyone believe him? The Council Seal. That rat. This is getting out of hand. How he was able to obtain this is concerning. I must return and prepare for the Yuletide Feast, but I will do so with a bent ear and a keen eye. Be safe. A valuable seal. And a riddle. One of the four is ours. One of the four. Rizier, Falavith, Odin, and... You're... the four members of the Council. We should search their offices now, while they're occupied with the Yuletide Feast. Yes. Yes. Come, to the Archives. Could I have missed something? We will find out soon enough. Come on! Survey the area, Zunin. I have seen these weapons and supplies. Enough for a small group of fighters. Hardly enough for Haftan's army. Could be why Fadavith is pressing the council for more silver. list. What Jorvik needs for the Yuletide feast. That is Aldon's handwriting. Items have been struck out. Where did he find the funds to make this larger purchase? Aldon is a well-connected man. A wax seal. Similar to the one I found in the sewers. A seal you took from the needle's hand. You don't think someone could have stolen it. Let's keep searching. This desk. It looks as though it's been moved here. That's yours, desk. It is loaded with silver. Scratch marks on the floor. Yours, desk, used to be against the other wall. So why the change? Where does this lead? Guard the door. There was wine here. Whoever moved it did so in a hurry. of wine was removed from here, and the room smells of almonds. It may be the wine was poisoned. It is likely the wine for the Yuletide feast. Do you think one of the council means to kill someone? It looks that way. It is not him, not Major. He would never do this. He... Keep your focus. Once we have all the facts, then we can worry about Hjor. Right now we need to get to the Yuletide feast. The people are in danger. You're right. The Roman Amphitheater. Let us go.
Do you see the wine? No. Then there's still time. The entire council is here. Any one of them could be the vault. I need you to keep an eye out for the wine. I will speak to each of the council members, see if I can trap them in a lie. Even Hjord? Even Hjord. If he is the vault, I will not allow him to kill all these people. Lufina. I heard you. Just grant me one thing. Confer with me before you make your move. I will. Now to speak to the council members. We'll speak of the wine and watch for their reactions. That may lead me to the vault. Faravid, a word if I may. Ha! Ah, Drengr! If it's to join arms with me, the answer is yes. We can use someone like you against the Picts. I may be courted, but I'm selective with whom I join. Are you a drinker? Ha! Ah, if that is a challenge, I am up for it. Very well. I'll return with some wine. Wine? <laughs> Come now, we will do this over ale. That will give us a good measure of who can better fight its lure. What a delightful feast! it seems you have found the funds to go ahead with the feast after all. You must be elated. <laughs> that is putting it lightly. Look at it! I could not have asked for a better turnout. Soon the feast will begin, and these people will be given everything they deserve. We should honor you. I will fetch us some wine. Uh, no, no, no. I, I mustn't indulge. Uh, the wine is for the people of Jorvik. Uh, but when it arrives, do help yourself. Has outdone himself. The high reeve of Jorvik has a bright future ahead if he keeps this up. Pior, who was that? There you are. I was beginning to worry. Worry not. We have tracked the vault here. He's someone on the council. You are certain? I am. Once I discover who, I will dig my blade into his heart and end this for good. Until then, it is important that I investigate without raising suspicion. I need your help. Of course. What do you need me to do? Drink yourself into a drunken fit. What? Why? I need a distraction. Keep their eyes off of me. The wine should arrive soon. Drink three full cups, then make a scene. I can't be seen doing that. You'll have to find another way. Just do it. I'll have the silver ready in the coming days. Thank you, Bob. Of course. Rishi. Ah! Come to join the feast, have you? I have some bad news. The wine for the feast has spoiled. Of course it has. Why would I expect differently? I'll have my men dump it. There may be more wine in my private stores. I'll send a man to retrieve it. Is there anything else? That is all. Enjoy the feast. I shall try. Eivor, have you uncovered who the vault is? Each of the council members has given me reason to suspect them. Some more than others. Who is it you suspect? Pior refused to drink the wine when I proposed to help flush out the vault. What's more, the needle was collecting silver for the vault. I think Hjor was taking this money and funding the order. Gods, no. The town's funds in decline. A treasurer's hand in the coffers. It is all connected. For these reasons, I think Hjor is the vault. How could I have been such a fool? I need you to focus now, Lufina. These people are in danger. I need your help. Brothers, sisters, dear friends, welcome all. Before we begin, 
I would like to introduce our honored guests. Here with me are some of Jorvik's most revered lords. Men and women who have kept Jorvik trudging through these harsh times. I am pleased to say that today, on today, we honor you. We honor as well the nobles to whom we are all so The wine. Indebted. I'll the vote. Too late for them. We must not miss our chance. Join me now in celebrating their successes and yours. To everything you deserve and to more. Shit. And now, deafened and blinded by lust for indulgence, your foolish pride, I will tell you just what nobility is. A death sentence. A new world of order is upon us. A pity none of you will live to see it. Get the councilmen to safety. I will handle Alden. Go. Protect the king! Alden, save these breaths. They will be your last. There is no escape, no future. <laughs> What did you hope to gain with all this? What riches are worth so much misery and the deaths of honorable men and women? Only a feeble mind would call them honorable. They are privileged, sedentary, complacent. They wasted their resources. I secured our power through wealth. I contributed to the future of a glorious order. On the backs of honest people, merchants and priests and nobles alike. A4, you are wrong. Held back by your primitive cosmology. Nine worlds in the tree? No. Nine times nine thousand worlds. And as many sons. Nine nights I hung in the tree, sacrificing myself to myself. So does the wise one seek wisdom. Countless spheres awaiting our gift, our enlightenment. I live in one world only. You live in none.
Eivor, over here. Are you all right? We're fine. Faravud and his car is escorted to Nishie back to the Royal Hall. Everyone is safe. Let's regroup there. Sniveling little shit. I don't care. I want answers. Calm, Lord Rishia. Alden is dead. That doesn't calm me. I wanted to rip the bastard's spine out myself. You want to calm me? Start talking. Alden aligned himself to a secret group that was plotting to overtake Jorvik. He had help from two others. Grigory, the Dark Master, and Ingeborg, the Abyss. And you, Evo? You were after these conspirators from the moment you arrived? Yes, though I could not let it be known. This group can reach any person, permeate the walls of any city. Much like the worms of a spoiled apple, they would have eaten Jorvik from the inside out if we let them. But you stopped that from happening. We owe you a debt of gratitude. You can be sure Hafton Jarl will hear of this. If the threat is gone, then you have my gratitude as well. I'm alive today, and so are many others because of you. I'd like to name you an honorary High Reeve of Jorvik, Eivor. Would you accept? It has a nice sound to it. You honor me, Lord. You have earned it. Then if I may, a hoard of silver is left unaccounted for in the grottoes beneath these streets. That's right. Silver the Dockmaster was collecting. What do you propose we do with it? Hard-working merchants were robbed of their wares. Honor Yuletide by giving the silver back to the honest citizens of Jorvik. A wise suggestion. I agree. Fine. I will see to it that Hjord distributes the silver evenly. Come, Faravid. Help me secure this hoard. I could use a bloody walk. Is this a bitter farewell? Let it be said that I do wish you had more trust in me. But no, there are no ill feelings here. You did what you had to do. If it were me, I do not know that I could have been as level-headed. You remain a friend, Eivor. Let that be clear. Should you ever need us, we will come. One last thing. The silver on your desk, Hjor. It planted a seed of doubt in my mind. So I must know. What is it for? I suppose I can forgo the element of surprise. I hired a silversmith to craft a love token for Lufina. A Yuletide gift. You sneak. I will take my leave before you shame the throne. Until our paths cross again, old friend. In this world, or the next. If you drop by Jorvik again, please join us for an ale. I know of a place down the street. Mm. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news.
Nice to see you. I have purged the Order of Ancients from Jorvik, the Lufina, and Hjor's Eight. And should we ever need theirs, they will come. You do this work well, Eivor. Is it a prelude to you joining the Hidden Ones? I doubt it. Not enough glory in these back alley brawls. I want to see the Alliance map. What awaits in Yorvikshire? Halfdan Ragnarsson, Conqueror of the North, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkist personally. Halfdan Jarl. I've heard that man's name so often, I feel as though I know him already. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. I will go at once. With caution, Eivor. Yervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall. <laughs> 